Hi, my name is Chi. And my name is Edward, and you're watching Psychostatics. Today we're going to give you a workout that's going to help you get your thighs thicker. So in this workout, we're going to help you train your inner thigh muscles. So your inner thigh muscles are also known as your adductor muscle group. And this group of muscles help to bring your legs closer to the midline of your body. So um, if we had to split the body up into three different planes, the X, Y and Z plane, the X plane is going to be your width from the front view. The Y plane is going to be your width from the side plane, the side view. And the Z axis is going to be your height. So obviously you can't change your height, but um, with regards to your width in the front plane, which is the X plane and the Y plane, you can change the width in those um, regions, you know, respectively. So this workout is only going to be training your inner thigh muscles. So what that really means is that it's going to get your body wider or your legs wider from the front only. So in terms of how you look from the side, it's not going to affect that because it's not going to be training any muscles on the outside of your body. Now, why is this important? Because well, if you're trying to get slim, well, if you're trying to get a slim, thick physique, mm. then you may not want to train all the muscles in your thighs because you might end up getting a thicker physique or mm. a very muscular one. So yeah. a slim, thick physique may just look wider at the front view or the X Yeah, plane so front of... or back, that's it. Yeah. So if you obviously do this workout, you're going to end up having thicker thighs in the front view and back view only. But from the side, you're still going to retain a slim, um, slim profile and um, that might be what you want. If you do want to obviously get a thicker physique, you want to train your glutes, your hamstrings, all the different muscle groups in the same um, ratio. And that's going to help you to have a balanced and sort of more stocky looking physique. And if you're a guy like me, I would obviously prefer something like that. But if you're a girl, you might not want that. So anyway, let's go into nutrition. So in order to get that slim thick physique and make sure that your inner muscles actually do grow, you need to make sure you eat an excess of calories. This just means that you need to eat a little bit more than you normally do so you can gain a bit more fat or you can gain a bit more muscle. Yeah, so you don't want to have too much fat um, gain. So don't go and have 3000 calories um, just because someone told you to. Make sure you calculate your TDEE and you add only about 500 to 750 calories on top of that if you're actually looking to build muscle in a in a nice ratio. Let's just leave it like that. Um, <laughs> Now for some FAQs. So Chi, do we do this workout every day? No, no we don't. Okay. Um, so we're trying to encourage you guys to do it once or max twice a week and mm. that is it. Now I know someone's going to ask in the, in the comments, Everyone, someone always says this, research shows that you can actually train a muscle group three times in a week and still get gains from that um, workout. So why would we recommend once or twice a week? Well the reason is that we only train with bodyweight exercise, we've never lifted weights in our life. And to make sure that we always continually gain muscle without hitting a plateau, we have to reduce the amount of physiological adaptations we build in the process. In plain English, that all that means is that we don't want our body to become too accustomed to the workout. And the more times you train in a week, the more accustomed your body will become. And that's gonna reduce the actual intensity level of the workout. Okay, now for a quick disclaimer. So we just wanted to say, would recommend this workout for anyone who has a pear-shaped physique. Mm. It's just um, a bit more flattering and I think if you are a mesomorph or you have broader shoulders, mm. it's better for you to gain muscle all the way around your thighs and mm. maintain a toned physique all the way. It just looks mm. so much nicer. I mean, I'm a pear-shaped and I can't look good shredded. So I yeah. have to say that everyone has their you know, benefits for having their body type mm. and there's nothing wrong with it. I'm just saying mm. it is better for people who have a pear-shaped physique to do this workout. Or even an hourglass physique. So yeah. if your shoulders and your hips are generally um, the same width, then this workout is going to help you. If you do have narrow hips, um, obviously, that's, as she mentioned, um, this workout, you might not look that good with thick thighs. So definitely have a look and try work out what your body type is. Um, if you want us to make a video on what to actually help you to discover what type of body type you have, just comment in the description or we're going to put a poll on this side of the screen somewhere. So um, just click on that poll and let us know. So we hope you guys enjoyed this workout. Make sure you comment, make sure you like this video, make sure you do watch it. Subscribe. And um, let us know what type of workout you want to come out next. We'll start this workout with a 20 second sumo squat hold. Stand with your feet far apart 
and toes pointing 45 degrees away from you. Now we will squat until our legs are parallel to the floor or as deep as they can go. From here, we hold the position for 20 seconds. Focus on not leaning forward. Your back has to be straight and upright. If you find that you're leaning forward, this may mean that you're not squatting deep enough. That's when I come alive. I got the juice in the summertime. That's just a summer vibe. I got the juice in the summertime. The second exercise we're going to do is 10 supine leg adductions. Lying down on our backs, we will raise our legs until they are perpendicular to the floor or vertical. We will then move them apart slowly as far as possible before bringing them back inwards at the same pace. Once they meet, we will squeeze them together for about 2 seconds before proceeding to the next rep. Ensure you keep your legs vertical. That's just a summer vibe. I cut it loose in the summertime. That's when I come alive. I got the juice in the summertime. That's just a summer vibe. I got the juice in the summertime. That's why I feel in love. Run up a check. It's time to collect. You keep the love. I need the respect. I need me a couple of people that ain't scared to put me a check. Summer was fresh, man. What you expect? To see that you vex, it's hard to connect. And just like an invitation, what I done to you, hard to accept. It is what it is. The third exercise is 10 sumo squats. Stand with your feet far apart and toes pointing 45 degrees away from you. Now we will slowly squat until our legs are parallel to the floor before pushing back up at the same pace. Make sure to slightly squeeze your glutes on the way up to maintain good form. Focus on not leaning forward, your back has to be straight and upright. If you find that you're leaning forward, this may mean that you're not squatting deep enough. Finally, we will wrap up the first set of this workout with another 20 second sumo squat hold. I do not move in the streets, but watch how I pen on the sheets. Jordan rules, Jordan rules. They just wanted me to loose. I got nothing left to proof, so they wanted me to poof. Thought I told you people, hand down, man down, I'm about to shoot. Then I'm about to share the truth. After the first set, take a two minute breather before doing all exercises again for another two sets. On the second and third sets, minus two reps or seconds from each exercise consecutively. For example, we will hold the sumo squat for 18 seconds in the second set and 16 in the third. Hope you guys enjoyed this workout. Please like, comment, subscribe and share the video if it helped. We will aim to post new workouts every one to two weeks, so stay tuned. Bye!